something to remember when your child is doing this counting. We're going to count some jacks here. Now you can show them how to count. One, two, three, four, five, for example. But what they need to do is to make sure to either point or touch them. For example, something that helps is to move them to another location. Or if you have a little tray or a container, that's even the best. You can go one. You count them on the table, and then they in turn do it, copying you. One, two, three, four, five. You need to count another set of five. They do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and on and on it goes. If you're counting at the table, make sure they don't just say one, two, three, four, five, because they often miss them, or they go a little too fast, or a little too slow. So it's very important that you have them touch the object to begin with when they're still young. One, two, you have them either touch the object or move the object as they count, so that they don't miss any. The more practice they have with that, the easier it is for later on to just point as they look at the object with the, their eyes. But at the beginning, they need to actually feel it and touch it. And make sure that the touching and move, or moving the object it has to correspond with the spoken number. One, for example, going too fast will not work. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure that they do exactly one to one as they do it.